Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the animations in the Arma 2 editor. Um, I'm not going to show you the basic stuff in this tutorial. If you want to learn the basic stuff, uh, watch my other tutorial video about the basic stuff in the editor. And when you learn that, come back to this video and you will understand how it works. Um, there are two ways to use the animations. Uh, one way is with the waypoints and the other way is with triggers. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use the animations with triggers. First thing we are going to do is to place a unit on, in the editor. Uh, so place a unit. A uh, really important part when using animations in a trigger is that you give the unit a name. Uh, doesn't matter which name you give him. Uh, I'm going to give him the name Bandit. That's easy, so he's called Bandit now. Uh, I'm going to ungroup him, and now we are going to place a trigger in the editor. Um, I'm going to activate the animation by hand, so I'm going to use Radio Echo. The reason why I use Radio Echo is um, Radio Alpha is already used by the camera and Bravo Charlie and Delta when you use one of those a menu will pop up in your screen and you don't want to have that when capturing for a cinematic purpose so use Echo or Foxtrot Golf etc so I'm using Echo um, now we're going to place the, the uh, animation code there are two ways um, it's with switch move or play move most of the animations work with switch move and just a couple of them work with play move. So if an animation doesn't work and you use switch move, then you need to use play move. Um, the code is this. Um, so I'm typing bandit, that's the unit. We gave him that name. So it's referring back to the, to the unit. Um, and then switch move. Then you need the quotation marks, and in between the quotation marks, you uh, put the dots. We need the uh, animation code. So the other command is bend it, play move, quotation marks, dots for where the code comes, and you have to close it off the code. So I'm going to delete this, and now I'm going to show you where to get the animations. On the Bohemian Interactive site you will find a lot of animations, uh, not all the animations. For that you need uh, a mission file called Operation Arrowhead Animation Viewer. I will show you later on in the tutorial how to install it and how to use it. But for now we are going to use the Bohemian Interactive uh, list. And when you scroll down you will see like weird text. Uh, this text is the, the code for the animation and on the right side you'll see what the animation does. Uh, so scroll through it, pick your animation. I'm going to use this one. So select it and copy and go back to the editor. So we are back in the editor and we are going to paste the animation code in the place of the dots. So paste the code and now we got a full animation code so bend it switch move and if the animation doesn't start or doesn't work try play move and uh, with the animation code in the end between the quotation marks uh, press ok so we are going to preview if it works um, okay we are in game to start the animation i put it on radio echo so that's zero zero and on the left side you will see alpha and echo five five is echo and the animation will start. I'll go to into the camera. Uh, yeah, that's all. So it's it's not difficult. So we are back in the editor, and I deleted the trigger and replaced the bended unit a bit further away from my unit. Um, so we are going to use waypoints for animations. It's really easy, so it should be quick. Um, select waypoints. Select the unit. Place. A waypoint in front of your unit and you'll see the uh, waypoint menu and on the activation command line we'll put the same code it's bend it switch move quotation marks with the uh, animation code and close it off uh, so that's all um, if the animation doesn't work uh, with switch move try play move okay we are going to preview if it works it should work, he should run towards me and at the place where we place the waypoint he should start the animation. 
Uh, let's have a look. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it works. He started the animation at the waypoint. Um, now I'm going to show you how to install the mission file so you can find all the animations. Go to the Armaholic website and download the Operation Arrowhead animation viewer. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, so click on that and then scroll down to the bottom where you find the download link for the animation viewer. Download the animation viewer and you'll see you got a folder called animation viewer. Uh, we need to extract this folder to uh, the documents, so go to documents and you'll see Arma 2 and Arma 2 other profiles. Click on Arma 2, then open missions and now we're going to extract the animation viewer uh, to the missions folder. I'm not going to extract it because I already got it installed. Uh, once you uh, extracted the folder, then start op Operation Arrowhead. Um, could be possible later on that you can't find the animation viewer in the editor. Um, then you need to extract the folder, uh, the animation viewer folder to the Arma 2 other profiles. Then select your profile, then select missions and extract your animation viewer to this missions folder. So uh, now I'm going to start up Operation Arrowhead. So we started up the Operation Arrowhead. Uh, make sure that the Days mod is disabled. Uh, if you got it enabled, uh, the animation fuel will not work. So disable Days mod. Once you've done that, go to single player and then go to editor, select desert. Uh, once the uh, desert editor is loaded up, click on load and at mission name, select animation fuel and click OK. Uh, now we are going to preview to set up the animation viewer and uh, you get an option to click on with your scroll mouse, click on it and the animation viewer will start up. Uh, for some reason there are no, uh, no animations in my list so I'm going to click around in the filter options and it should load up. Yeah, I got all the animations now. Um, at the top of the viewer you'll find uh, the filter options. Uh, underneath that you'll find all the animations. Uh, I'm going to scroll down through it and find an animation. I got the medic animations. So I'm selecting one of those animations to view. Uh, at the bottom of this list you'll find play move and switch move. Most of the animations work with switch move so uh, if that doesn't work try play move and sometimes because the viewer is buggy you have to reset everything uh, so click on reset. So I'm clicking on switch move and it should start the animation and it's starting the animation. Now, I like this animation so I want to use this animation. How, how do you do that? Uh, click on add and uh, click once too much. Click on add and it should add the animation to your list. Uh, you can add more animations for your needs. Uh, okay, so I added a couple of animations. Then click on copy. Go back uh, to a text editor and paste the animation codes in the editor in your text editor, so you can use it in your own mission file.